Hello, in this video we'll be looking at the set color boost wizard. The color boost increases the amount of color being printed in areas where the shirt color can also be seen. It doesn't affect solid colors that are printed with a solid white. If we look at an image that has transparency using the transparency opacity tool, we can see how the color boost will affect the output. An image with transparency is made up of the color data displayed in the lower window and the transparency information displayed in the top window. The transparency top window tells the color data how much of the background to show through and we also use this to control how much white to print. The actual color data in the image, if there is no transparency, would actually look like the setting when the opacity is set to its maximum. The color data goes through a flattening process and based on transparency, the color data is reduced. Color Boost allows you to reduce the amount of flattening and to put down more CMYK. This is the same as reducing the midtones in the plugin, but when I do this in the plugin, it's going to affect both the white and color data. Color Boost in a queue only affects the color data. The Setup Color Boost option is found in the queue menu. Select your bed size and select your graphic. Select the size you would like to print the variations on the shirt board and click Next. A color boost of 1 is normal flattening or no color boost and a color boost of 8 is a lot. We will print from 1 to 8 in steps of 1. You can then print the shirt and from the output you can select your preferred print and enter this value in the wizard to use for all new jobs in this queue. Use the color boost for both colored shirts and your black shirt queues to fine-tune and get the desired output you're looking for.